Hello and welcome to another episode of Bringing Self Talk into Practice. I call procrastination as a stressful tomorrow which is overwhelming. Procrastination is very much synonymic to tomorrow. Why? It is because we postpone our important work on tomorrow. We know it's important but either out of laziness or fear or whatsoever we want to delay which is really not a good exercise because by doing this we are not just delaying our work we are stopping ourselves to grow we are ruining our impression not just on others but also on ourselves and self image we are basically making a habit by repetitively postponing our important work and i know to get over this procrastination habit will not be easy every cell of your body will encourage you to postpone but if you strengthen your will power you can achieve success so let us program our mind on the repetition basis to eliminate procrastination so let's begin i am a proactive individual i prioritize my work and take action on it i am a doer i love completing my work on time for me work comes first and which is why i focus on completing my work on spot i see my work as my passion and this way it helps me defeat even the slightest feeling of procrastination i love my work i love the way i work i love the way i take the required actions i am an action taker i am also a thinker i am in love with my work my work is super exciting and it keeps me super busy Work is a big motivator for me and it keeps me motivated all throughout the day and week. Work loves me and I love it back. Because I'm such a proactive person, I also focus on my relationship building, maintaining and enhancing both on personal as well as professional side. I also work very actively on my personal goals and commitment and I'm highly successful in that. I keep programming my mind of living procrastination free and staying active and enthusiastic. So with this we come to an end of another episode. I hope you enjoyed practicing these self talk statements. Please be consistent and keep up the good work. See you with another set of self talk statements. Till then, stay tuned and keep self talking. I hope you found today's episode helpful. Thank you for taking out time and listening to me so patiently. Do not forget to subscribe to the podcast. I would be grateful if you could leave us a review and share it. If you have any thoughts on today's episode or topics you would like me to further touch on or to address your questions, email me on showselftalk@gmail.com. Or you can reach out to me on www.selftalkshow.com or on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Thank you again. See you in the next episode.